Hey guys, you're watching the American Dream where we're talking about real estate market trends and today hitting Orlando, we're talking to two guests who are the expertise in the real estate market and all things real estate. So Todd Schroth out of uh, Remax Central Realty. Hello, Todd and Kevin Boudreaux from Fairway Independent Mortgage. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Great. How are you? I'm doing, doing well. Wonderful. <laughs> good, good. So let's talk about, uh, with, we'll start with you, Todd. Can you talk about how the real estate market will benefit uh, both buyers and sellers before the holidays here? You know, with buyers and sellers before the holidays, one, you're going to get your tax advantages of buying, you know, closing before the end of the year if you need any last minute tax write offs. And, uh, you know, for the buyer side of things, you're going to be able to get in your new home and celebrate with your family, you know, before the holidays and celebrate Christmas in there and have your New Year celebration there. Um, you know, and also you're going to, you know, with buying before the end of the year, worrying about what's going to happen with rates going into next year. Mm -hmm. Now with Kevin, are you seeing a shift in the market and what are you predicting here in 2019 as we approach uh, another real estate uh, trend here? Well, you've been hearing that word shift a lot lately, and it's still definitely a seller's market here in central Florida, especially under 300,000. So your higher price points, it's more of a buyer's market. But as rates start to go up, which they have been now for over a year, as the prices keep appreciating, which they have because of the lack of inventory, we are going to see that shift at some point. A lot of the first time home buyers and people that were just being able to just get into their home are not going to be able to qualify anymore. So when there's less buyers, you know, it will be more of a buyer's market. The sellers won't be able to have four or five offers on on every listing. Yeah. So how can buyers stand apart when it, when dealing with competition in this real estate market? Really when you're writing an offer on a property, you know, if, to make yourself stand apart is writing a clean contract, asking for as little contingencies as possible, narrowing down your inspection periods to, you know, between five and seven days versus 10 to 15, where we see a lot of offers, larger deposits, you know, uh, financing with local independent brokers or mortgage companies like Kevin. Um, and then, you know, writing, you know, 30 to 60 day closings or 30 to 45 day closings, really uh, not putting something out there too far, having an agent that's going to call ahead of time to find out really what the seller wants and putting that into the contract. You know, if it's they've got a certain timeline they're looking for, you know, we can try to work with that. Those are some things that you can definitely do. And having people who have a good reputation in the area, you're representing Correct. you on the other side. Okay. And Kevin, what's your what take on that? Do yeah, what we do at Fairway, we do the upfront underwriting. So what we like to do is take all the, the hard part of the process, get it done up front. So the buyers feel more comfortable when they buy because they've already been underwritten. But more importantly, the seller feels comfortable because that's the key. When you're in a multiple offer situation, you really want to make sure the seller feels comfortable with your offer. So if we can already have you blessed basically by the underwriter, and offer our 21 day guarantee closing or we pay the seller $200 a day. Those are things that can put your offer to the top of the pile besides the things that Todd said. So it's kind of a combination of having that amazing real estate agent like Todd and a lender that's going to do the work up front for you to make you shine and make your offer stand out. Yeah, it's it, winning team. it certainly makes the process a lot or smoother, right? If you're dealing with realtors as well and you're dealing with uh, lenders, when you go into it, the, the confusion there is it's a stronger situation when you have a pre-approval versus a pre-qualification letter, right? It, it, like you said, entices sellers and they see that this is a, a ready and, and willing and able buyer. And so it makes the transaction all together just come full circle on things. So to have a, a team like yourselves, um, that certainly helps to have somebody that uh, to knows the market and knows what, what they're doing there. So you guys have a listing, I understand, the highlight on our show today. Can you talk more about that? We do. Uh, we've got a new Longwood listing over in Wakaiva coming up. Uh, it's actually going live tomorrow. Um, it's 121 Ludlow, and it's a four-bedroom, two-bath pool home, all recently updated inside. Uh, owners have been there 20 years looking to downsize, so we're uh, excited that one coming to the market. It's going to sell quick, and we're looking at pricing at 310000 It's walking distance to elementary school, great you know, A-rated elementary, a high-end middle school, so we're looking forward to that one coming out tomorrow. Very cool. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for all your insight in the real estate market. I'm sure we'll talk more with you guys uh, in the coming uh, days. Thanks so much, guys. Great. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.